Hey guys, it's Frank Schwartz. I uh, wanted to shoot something here. I saw that um, there were some questions about setting up verified emails and all that stuff. And I wanted to show you a little trick that I do that I'll show you has worked for me over the few years that I've been using it. Um, what I do is I come in and I go edit contact and it pops up. Things are going to be slow. My computer's running slow. Um, and I do this for all contacts. I pull out the organization. I go over to my favorite little website called uh, fakenamegenerator.com. It has all the information you could ever want on somebody. Of course, it's fake. And I go, um, this is a real email address. Click here. I right click and open in a new tab. And what it does is it opens up this email address for this Andrew Humphreys. And it just sits here and waits until GoDaddy sends me uh, the email. So what I do is I'm going to copy in the name Come over here type in the name. Do all this and I'm going to do this live so you guys can see it and then I'll upload it to YouTube for us. Uh, address copy and the neat part about this is that these email addresses are you know for lack of a technical term they're like dynamic um is that york york pa And it's not that they have to be exact, but I just like to uh, copy this stuff so it just seems like, because I know all the information is the same. The zip codes, everything is in that area. So I've got like 50 videos rendering. So, And then here's the fun part. And this takes a little bit of time. So what I'll do after I copy this is I'll probably have to pause it. But that's it. There's the information. And it will take a minute for it to go through the request. Now what it's going to do is it's going to send me an email that I have to click to verify that this email address is real. Now I've never been contacted by GoDaddy for anything being messed up or anything. Um, so what I do is I'll just refresh the screen. And again, it might, it sometimes depending on how busy GoDaddy is, it can take a second. It can take, you know, 10 minutes, see this is gonna take a minute. But then I can come over and check and you can see it's waiting for the emails. GoDaddy's gonna take its sweet time doing this. And let's see. Now you see, now it propagated everything. So it's now with this Andrew Humphreys. And now that it's put it in here, there'll be a pop-up that says that I need to verify the email address. It, it, you, you've all seen that little marking or whatever. It takes it a minute. And it has happened where that little pop-up, that little red or yellow pop-up has not um, shown up, but they still send you the email. 
and I'll show you a pretty neat little feature on this. And this will be the part that I edit. And as you can see, here is the email coming through that says, I have to verify. Now let's go see if that little warning popped up. Just so you can see that it actually verifies it through. And again, it doesn't always pop up, but yep, it's going to show right here. I can see because this, this little heading area got wider. So it says you must verify resend whatever but we already have the email so i just click on verify it says hey it's verified i wait for the spinner to stop just so that i know everything's communicated with godaddy now i come over here you can refresh. It's still going to be there. Let's refresh again. Yep. Verified. See the header? That's how I know, absolutely verified. And we can close this out, but I wanted to show you another trick. If this Andrew S, if you keep this in your files, which you really don't have to, because you have it in your contact right here. But if you ever need to change, like if you're doing a bunch of names and you need all the Andrew stuff, but you want to change up this Andrew Humphreys, like it says Andrew S. Humphreys at the Army Spy. Just hit the copy and what it'll do is it's going to make oh, Andrew Humphreys, no S. And here's the email waiting for it. And here's your Andrew Humphreys and you can go and sign up for something and send it to him. And the cool part is, is you never have to worry about it. You can change things up here but if I just needed a quick one and I said, you know, Frank it says it's been copied to my clipboard. Now it's waiting for an email to come to Frank at armyspy.com. So that is how I do this and phone numbers, birth dates, age, Leo's, browsers they use, Visa cards. Now, don't go and try to buy something with the cards. Just don't. It's just dumb. It's just, you know, information. He's a ballet master for complete tech, which makes zero sense. But you got Western Union stuff, just dumb information. But the only thing I worry about is the name, address, uh, phone number, and the email and some things like if I'm doing a niche that is like health related or female fitness, I'll come in and create just a straight female. And if it's from another country, I'll say Hungary and the name set is uh, Hungarian. 
and then I'll say generate and as you see here's the name everything the phone number and email address just like it was for the American you can close this out you're all set verified information verified email you'll never be contacted by GoDaddy, hopefully, um, as of now. So uh, enjoy.